but our suggestion is always making sure that the property that you're looking for is superior to the one that you're currently in because other than that there probably is no point of you moving. Welcome to Bamford & Co. Podcast. I'm here by myself today as my brother and the rest of the family are still in Mexico. So I hope you guys are having an amazing uh, time there celebrating my parents' 50th wedding anniversary. So I will be your, uh, I guess, single host today. Today we're going to give you a market update on where we sit in Saskatoon within the real estate industry and look at uh, a little bit of the statistics. So as of, I guess this afternoon when I checked, we only have 734 properties on the market. So we are down from what we currently were at and 162 of those properties that are on our market are actually conditionally sold. We see this decreasing, the amount of listings decreasing over the next months, especially going into December, closer to Christmas, and then in January. So um, that doesn't help buyers out there. Uh, it's still a seller's market. So properties, if they're priced accordingly and they are newer and don't need a lot of work, they're selling for multiple offers and usually on average within 10 days. So that kind of gives you an idea of where we sit right now in our market and I don't think that's actually going to change. An interesting fact that uh, we pulled was that um, we're actually getting uh, this year on average 2,983 people moving out of the province uh, and 1,754 moving within the province. So we have a lot of people moving uh, out of our city, but we have a lot of people relocating from rural areas back into Saskatoon, which also is, um, I guess, making our market that much harder to get into because we have a lot of people coming. We're, we're forecasted to see about a 12,000 to 14,000 uh, increase within uh, the city of Saskatoon within the next year. Some of the most sought after neighborhoods are usually in those property prices under about 450,000. So that would be a lot of the neighborhoods like Holotain, Holliston, uh, and, and also Stonebridge, Rosewood, and so forth. One of the, uh, I guess, styles of homes that are probably taking the longest to sell are usually character homes. So those are located in the Varsity View, Newtown, and so forth. I think the reason is, it's just that they're a lot older and uh, they have sometimes some things that need more upkeep than some of the newer properties. Most of these neighborhoods I'm mentioning that is like Adelaide Churchill, Nutana Park and so forth. Most of these properties are in the 50s, 60s and moving into the 70s. Uh, the new neighborhoods, I mean, you're looking at Rosewood, Stonebridge, Willow Grove and I mean, even Hampton Village. These properties are still moving really fast too. It just depends on how they're priced. I do believe people are getting maybe a little bit high on their prices and in result, their properties are staying on the market a little bit longer when, than what they normally would be. Many properties are still going into multiple offers and some of these prices get a lot more than what we should probably look at is what market value is. But it all depends on how long somebody has been searching and what it, they're exactly looking for. So somebody might be searching for two years and they've been looking for, for example, a bungo with a triple car garage that's backing a park and they haven't found it within that timeline. If they find themselves into then a multiple offer scenario, they a lot of times will pay a lot more for the person that's just started looking. So in our, in our market, which is considered a seller's market, this can play a big factor. So the, the actual price per square footage would be a lot higher than what it would normally be because of, I guess, the demand uh, and this person looking for a longer period of time. So sometimes you might just get priced out of when you put in a bid just because you might not be um, that desperate as, as this person that's been looking for a longer period of time. And as these prices keep on increasing, which I can't see them decreasing in a shorter period of time, uh, these properties will just keep on going up in price. We sit down with buyers and sellers a lot of times and people say that they're not in a rush. And we totally understand and we actually support this. 
uh, you shouldn't be selling your house until you find the right property and a lot of times it takes a lot longer now than what it historically uh, would before. Um, when we used to sit down with somebody and look for a property, it would usually take about 90 to 120 days from the time they started looking for uh, and searching for a property by the time they took possession. This now can get extended almost double if not triple the amount of time. So what normally took you 90 days might now take a year, might take a year and a half to find that, that perfect property. But our suggestion is always making sure that the property that you're looking for is superior to the one that you're currently in because other than that there probably is no point of you moving. So that's something that we continually to suggest to our, our buyers uh, just to be patient. Uh, and, and sometimes that's easier said than done because people start getting frustrated over a period of time when nothing keeps on hitting the market, at least as they are, they're quoted as, why are we not seeing anything hit the market? Um, and it just takes time. So we suggest that um, just have the mindset of six, to, six months to a year. And if you have that mindset, then, then you're willing to um, be a little bit more patient. Going into 2025, and with my predictions, I'd probably say that our market will continue to increase. Um, affordability is going to be a little bit harder because actually the amount of properties is actually decreasing from the new builder's perspective. So you have less properties coming to market, more being built into the rental pool, which usually takes two or three years, especially in a apartment building um, scenarios. So from, from our thoughts, that will continue, continue to see a decrease in available inventory. This usually does change though coming into the market, but we're still seeing um, subpar inventory levels of what we historically have seen um, in the last couple of years. So uh, going into next year, uh, as we say, be patient, but the sooner you get into the market, the probably the more benefit, uh, the more benefit you'll see out of it. But as long as you don't see, sell your property, you'll continue to see an increase in, in, in what you currently live in. So I think that's positive uh, against um, where, where our market's going. So with that being said, I want to thank you for joining us uh, on another podcast. Uh, hopefully my brother and other guests come back soon. And uh, we just want to thank you for watching us and, and to con continue to follow us on uh, YouTube and other social media channels. Uh, I do believe that we are on different now podcast channels. So we'll uh, keep you updated into that into December. So thanks again for joining us. I hope you have an awesome day.